Hey, Andrew. Look at that girl. She's hot. Isn't she? Well, maybe. I don't know. You can't tell hot girls. I mean, why should I be bothered? You're a guy. You can't tell me you are not interested in girls. Maybe not at this time of my life. Let me show you how hot girls look like. That girl, for example, she has a pretty face and nice body. Look at her legs too, so slender and smooth. Are you afraid to take a look? That's not the reason we're here, Noah. Let's eat and go back to class. Relax. You don't have to get agitated by a simple question. Is it a crime to love girls? I don't have time for your silly questions. I want to start heading off. Wait for me. Mom, I'm off to school. All right, Rachel. Take care and be a shining light at school. Remember you are different. Okay, Mom. Rachel, you are looking good. Thanks, Lauren. You too. But why do you have to put on this so many clothes? It's summer. Nothing. I just felt like wearing it. It's nice though, but a t-shirt would have been okay. I'm not complaining, the clothes just feel good on my body. Alright. What do you think about Andrew? What about him? I feel he's very handsome. Well, whatever. He's handsome. So, I want to be his friend. I'll go meet him. I wish you good luck. Hello, Andrew. Hey, hi. Why are you sitting here alone? Nothing really. Just relaxing. Oh, can I join you? Sure you can. Thanks. My name is Lauren. That's cool. I guess you know mine already. You always act so cool. I think I like your personality. Thanks. I'm not really the social type. Pardon me if I'm not saying too much. No problem. I'm not an extrovert either, but there is something about you that made me come around to say hi. That's nice. Where do you live? At Newton Street, after Mr. Big's restaurant. Really? I live close by too, before the bank at Newton Street. Wow, that's wonderful. Can we be coming to school together since you live close by? Okay. Hey boy. I was passing by and saw you talking to Lauren. Didn't want to interrupt. It wasn't anything serious. She came to me. What did she say? Nothing. She just came to say hi. And suggested we come to school together. Bro. I think that girl likes you. What makes you say that? Common man? Girls are not quick to walk up to a guy even if they like the guy. They wait for the guy to come to them. For Lauren to walk up to you to say hi, it means she is head over heels for you. Still, one can't assume that. You know nothing about girls. Trust me she is after you. And she is pretty, right? I don't know about that. When you see her next time, take a look at her eyes and her statue, especially her legs. Tell me what you think about her. I don't think that concerns me. You need to grow up, man. You are not a kid anymore. At this age you should be into girls. Alright, I've heard enough. Let's start going. Hey Andrew, ready for school? What are you looking at? Huh? Nothing. I'm ready for school. Do you like my dress? It's nice. Thank you. Let's go. You prefer sitting there? Don't you think you are quite far? I think I'm okay here. Alright. What? Why are you looking like that? I don't know if anyone has told you, but you are handsome. Huh? Thanks. Can I have your number, so I can always chat you up to say hi? Okay, here it is. Thank you. What do you normally do when you get home? You just read? Me? Yes, I read. I also help my mom out in the kitchen, and also go to church. Wow. You don't have fun? Yes, I do. Going to church is fun for me. I get to meet with other brethren and we sing, I play the guitar, and we do other things. You call that fun? Yes, it is. 
to me. How do you play your guitar? Like this. Wow. You are so funny. So, what is fun to you? Hanging out with friends, going to parties and occasions. Also chatting with my friends online. Those are fun? Sure they are. You should try them. No thanks. I'm content. Okay. Hey Lauren, you are in school already? Yes I am. I and Andrew came together. Hey Andrew. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Lauren, class is about to start. Let's go. Okay, I'm coming. How did you and Andrew come together this morning? I told you I was going to meet up with him. I met him yesterday, we got talking and then we discovered we were leaving close to each other. I suggested we come to school together and he agreed. Oh. Good for you. Yeah. He seems cool, and reserved. I hope you are not up to something mischievous. Nope. Just to be his friend. Besides, he looks like a church boy. The teacher is here. What's funny? Why are you laughing? I just remembered a particular line in the song I was playing this morning. It says, oh baby, your body makes me lose my sight. How does a body makes one lose his sight? What song is that? Who sang it? It's, I love your body, by Jay Smith. Oh, I've never heard of that. Don't know him. You don't know Jay Smith, common man? You are missing out big time. Jay Smith is a very popular R&B singer. I'm surprised you don't know him. Well maybe because I don't listen to secular songs, especially the ones that speak dirty to the mind. This is not about a song being dirty, go listen to Jay Smith. He is a mad singer. I've heard you. Did you come to school with Lauren today? Yes I did. Nice, I think I like her friend. You like her friend? So why haven't you approached her? She doesn't seem like one I can easily approach. She is too uptight. I thought you know how to deal with girls. She is not like other girls. But trust me, I will get her if I want to. I don't even know why I'm having this conversation with you. Well, maybe you are becoming interested in girls too. You are out of your mind. You are becoming a man. You come here often? Yes, this is where I usually eat. I wanted you to join me. Thanks. You are a nice person. And you are handsome. I love your smile. And you are pretty too. You have hot legs. Wow. Did that just come out of your mouth? Thanks for the compliment, Andrew. You make my day. I'm just being honest. And how is your friend Rachel? She's good, in the library always studying. Wow. That's nice. Do you know my friend Noah, likes her? Really? That's weird. I mean, what does he like about her? I don't know. You know Noah, is a flirt. He is interested in anyone, in skirt. I think he should forget about Rachel. That is mission impossible. He said he will get her if he wants to. I will love to see how that will be possible. Come to think of it, I will love to see that happen. Rachel has to loosen up a bit. I don't know how Noah will go about it. Anyways, it's his business. Let's eat and go back to class. Where have you been? I've been with Andrew. We went out to eat together. You guys have gotten really close. Yeah. Guess what he told me? What? He said I'm beautiful, and I have hot legs. Andrew said that? Yes he did. Wow. Very unlike him. You are beginning to influence him. I never taught him to mention that. But it was sweet to hear. Also guess what? Do you know his friend likes you? Who? Noah? Likes me? I was surprised too when Andrew told me. I mean what is there to like about you? What do you mean? You are too old fashioned. You dress like you are going for war. You are too serious Rachel. Always reading. Loosen up and have fun too. Make your hair, do your makeup. Wear sexy clothes and look attractive for once. I don't need all that. I'm okay the way I am. 
If you don't like me that is your headache. Of course I like you. But I'm just telling you to have fun too. You will like it trust me. Imagine Noah being scared of walking up to you, when you are not a ghost. But we all know Noah is a flirt. So yes, he should be scared of me, because I don't look like one he can flirt with. It's not just about Noah. It's about you. You are pretty, stop wearing heavy clothes like you're in the military. And your old-fashioned eyeglass. Do you have to wear it? It makes you look old. I've heard enough Lauren. Can we end this? All right. But imagine being Noah's friend. The whole girls would be jealous of you. I don't care. Mom, good afternoon. Rachel, welcome back. You don't look good. Is there a problem? There is no problem. I just don't want to use this glass anymore. Why? Please come have your sit. What is it? This frame is looking too old. Oh no, it's not dear, you look pretty in it. I don't want to wear it any longer. And I want to make my hair. What is making you feel this way? You have never been interested in making your hair, what's happening? Nothing mom. I'm just not a child any longer. Alright go ahead. Do what you feel is nice. But remember, do not allow anybody body shame or tease you. You are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. And you are a decent child, God's do well. Thanks mom. I have to get out of this house before my mom sees me. I look beautiful though, and attractive. Now I'm going to be so admired. Noah will admire me. At least let me have a male friend. Cute Rachel. Wow, you are looking so beautiful. Thanks. And you are looking gorgeously handsome. I love your new look. Thanks. Your hair is beautiful. And you are looking hot. Thanks, man. All right. Let's start going before we are late. Sure. Rachel? Is this you? Yes. Why are you surprised? You look so different. I choose to look this way today. Wow. But you look so beautiful. And you look chic, you slay. You changed your hairstyle? Yes, I did. I just wanted a new look, and for Andrew to find me more attractive. Nice. Let's go sit down. You made your hair, your eyebrows, made up, sexy clothes. What are you up to? I'm up to nothing. I just felt like looking like this. And isn't this what you wanted? You said I'm old fashioned. You are looking hot girl, you can burn. Oh, there is Noah. He is coming. I got to go. Where are you going? Lauren? Wait. Hi Rachel. Hi. You are looking good. Thanks. I know most of you are surprised seeing me in this style. But it's how I choose to look. My style changes a different season. I wish this style will never change. I can't even recognize you. You went from looking innocent to looking sexy. Let's hope it doesn't. Besides, what brings you to my desk today? Truth be told Rachel. I've admired you from a distant you are beautiful and smart. I just couldn't walk up to you. Why? There was just something different about you, that I didn't just have the nerve to walk up to you. You were different and unique. But I guess that something has been taken away. I have the boldness to walk up to you now. Can't resist your beauty. Cause I changed my style. It's not just about the style. I can't explain it. Well, I'm still me, nothing has changed. I want to be your friend Rachel. I really like you. Okay Noah. I want to get to know you too. Wow. That was much more easier than I thought. At this rate, I can boldly say to myself that I can get any girl I want. Maybe she was crushing on me long ago. Well, I won't be surprised. I'm handsome. Time to make her fall for me deeper. All right, thanks for accompanying me home. Don't mention. It is always my pleasure. 
I will chat you up later. I have something to tell you. Alright. I'm expecting it. Bye. Hi mom, good afternoon. Andrew, where are you coming from dressed like that? From school mom. But this is not how you always dress. You are looking like a boy from the street. And your hair? What did you do to it? Why is it standing like a cock? Come in mom, it's just a style. I don't like it. Someone must be influencing you at school. Because this has never been your style. I've known my son to be always decent and good looking. Whatever that has come over you. I pray it leaves you. I won't watch you change into something else under my nose. I'm going to watch you closely. Nothing has come over me. Get inside and change that nasty cloth before I lose my temper. Let me see what she sent. Wow. Look at her photos. She is so beautiful. She just sent a text. She is even showing cleavages. Wow. Why is Lauren showing me her half-naked photos? But I can't resist looking at it. Wow! What is this? Shaking her front and her behind? It's very hot in here. This is so tempting. Jesus, please help me. May I not fall into temptation. But I have to see this girl.